You are seated with him in heavenly places. You know when you gaze at him, everything in your perspective changes. You begin to smile. You have peace. You have satisfaction. You begin to hear his voice. You have confidence when people around you think, why are you confident? You can't, you can't look at his face and be discouraged. You can't walk in his presence and leave the same way you came in. The powerful people of those that are spending time seeking the face of God and he visits you. He visits you. He anoints you with power to do his will. That, that word anoint means literally to paint like with a paintbrush. You don't even realize it's happening. You're just worshiping him, just loving on him. And in that personal contact with him, he paints you. He anoints you. He calls you. Gives you ability. Gives you understanding. And you begin to walk with the glory of his face like Moses shining on you. Jesus is coming back for a church that shines. The world is so dark. The world is so dark. There's so little hope. Our faces don't need to be special. They just need to shine. God wants your church to shine in the darkness. God's going to use people that have been in His presence. Don't sacrifice the best. There's no higher level. Heaven knows your name. Spend time with your king. Love on him. He has the answer for everything. He can do anything. He's not limited. You'll never be limited again. You'll walk out of his presence anointed. With his strength. 
за Неговата сила. Халелуја. Can we do one other thing right now? And I'll teach the Word of God. But I just feel God touching people. And some of the time, pastors, we have to learn. We rush to a service and we don't let God touch His people. I was telling um, Pastor Daniel and Vlado. The last uh, two weeks, literally, the Spirit of God comes, but this He's come again in a special way. And one of our last services, you couldn't stop the people from worshiping. And you shouldn't stop him. <coughs> because he was walking in our midst. And without us touching anybody, people were having miracles. Do you know he wants to walk up and down the aisles of your church and touch people? If you just get them in the presence you learn to be a lover of God and your people want to be a lover of God. You be hungry and your church will be hungry. You seek His face, your church will seek His face. And they will see you run after God. I just had this sensation that God wants to heal some people right now. And I'm going to just do it a different way maybe than you've seen. Because we're leaders here, right? We're leaders. So I'm going to call some things out. Don't wait for me to call. Listen, just receive. In the presence of the King, just receive. And I'm going to ask you if you need healing in a moment, you can lift your hand. You just say, I receive this word. Wait, 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 just a moment. Wait, just a moment. Y'all are eager. Y'all are ready. Y'all are ready. But in a moment, if I call something out, I want you just very politely just agree with the person around you. Not, not a long prayer. We don't beg God to do what He does. Any more than your children have to beg you to be their parent. So what I want you to do is declare their healed. Speak it with authority and faith. And encourage them. Will you do that? We're going to pray for, we're going to pray for people around the room. And you'll, you'll begin to sense God touching your body. He heals because that's who He is. That's His nature. Jesus is the healer. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And listen, can I tell you something good? He heals any who come to him. I can tell you stories around the world where he heals his enemies. Those that have opposed him. Amen. The Bible says healing is the children's bread. Healing belongs to you, child of God. It's just like eating bread. Thank you, Lord. I feel there's someone in the intestine area that God's healing right now. In the lower intestine and in the bowels, that's the word. We say Especially if there's any kind of cancer, just lift your hand to the Lord. We just release your healing touch right now, Jesus. Holy 
Spirit, glorify Jesus. We release the power of the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we command cancer and tumors to wither. We say, be set free. Lord, we thank you. Anybody with digestive problems, digestive problems, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you heal them. We say be made whole, completely whole. Thank you, Lord. You set in order. Someone with, we call it TMJ. TMJ, your jaw pops. Thank you, Lord. Be healed in the name of Jesus. If you see somebody lift their hands in one of these, just declare healed. In the name of Jesus, sugar diabetes is healed. Normal blood sugar in the name of Jesus. I command blurred vision to go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Healing in the lungs, healing asthma. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Healing infection, chronic infection. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for cleansing right now. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now let me tell you. Be sure if you lifted your hand, let somebody command over you. Just look around the room. Just look around the room. Just look around the room. Let God touch you. 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 For your glory. Father, let pain leave now in Jesus. Thank you, stiff neck, be healed in the name of Jesus. Arthritis, be healed in the name of Jesus. Frozen joints, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be loosed. Someone pain in the left foot, be healed in the name of Jesus. Pain go now in the name of Jesus. Command fallen arches to be made normal in the name of Jesus. Arches, arches, be healed. Normal, normal arches. Normal in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for causing people's legs to be even. The name of Jesus. Now, now, check your eyesight. Check your eyesight. Move your arm. If you haven't already checked it right there, you'll begin to see God's touch on you. Hallelujah. Come on, worship Him. Thank you. Just begin to check it. Just begin to check it. Never the same. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anybody, you can feel God's touch on you right now. Wave. You see, if you wave like that, it encourages other people. Sir, do you feel God touching a part of your body? Is it something you can say? 
Did you have pain? Do you have pain, pain now? No pain. Now a bulk up. Thank you, Jesus. Was it something to do with a limb, an arm, or something it's like just, that? Uh, Your stomach. Your stomach. Be completely made whole. No more in Jesus' name. Never return. Come on, worship Him. People will be getting healed. Just put your eyes on Jesus. It's not me. Come on. Just worship. Don't clap on me. I have nothing to do with this. I have nothing to do with this. He's Jesus touching His people. Anybody else feel pain leaving your body or you feel the presence of God touching your body right now? Put your hands around the Jesus name. This lady over here, I I'm not sure next to you, sir. Is, is there part of this one right there? Yeah. Lord, release your healing power right now. Were you needing healing? Yeah, that. I see God's power is touched on you right now. Did you have pain? Was there any way you would know is what I'm saying? A little bit? All pain go now in Jesus' name. Is it, is it a part of your body you can say that wouldn't be a problem? Is it like a foot? In the name of Jesus. I also feel God's healing your foot for some reason. I don't know why. All the way down the foot, all the way down with Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Worship Him a little more. Worship Him a little more. Some of the time you realize, the next day, you realize, I haven't had that pain anymore. I haven't had that sickness anymore. You begin to recognize it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just a little more. Come on. You gotta press in. The lady that I had lunch with today in the brown right there. And her husband right there. Y'all just put your hands on her. God's gonna use her. Reach over. Just bless her. God use her for your glory and your worship. Now we command her body be completely made whole. This is not to trouble her no more in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It changes today. It changes today. In the name of Jesus. Did anybody check your eyesight? Like, if you had blue I remember we were in downtown Honduras and people just began to flood to the front they could read their Bible. Come on, that's got to excite you. They could read their Bible. They could take their Bibles off and read their Bibles. Their ears open. One, one lady was afraid to go out and afraid to say it publicly. And I love this about Jesus. Uh, and I, uh, a lady was in a shop and she didn't come outside to be prayed for. Uh, and that's what I love about Jesus. He went in her shop and he healed her. Her ear opened. Just by hearing the prayer somewhere else. God is good. God is good. In Jesus' name. There's a pain right here in your knee. Just receive it. The more you spend time, pray for your church. Pray for your people. The more you spend time, the more their faith will grow. The more healing will flow. I mean, send your people out all over the city. If you hear somebody sick, go pray for them. What God will do is Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord.